Hey everyone, it's Dee here from CoinKite. And today, we're going to be setting up a mobile multi-sig wallet using two cold card queues and a tap signer. Let's get started. First, you're going to want to download Nunchuck Wallet onto your phone and make sure that your cold cards and tap signer are already set up. We need to grab all three X pubs to create the multi-sig. I already have one of the X pubs as a key in Nunchuck, so now we're going to show you how to get the other two keys. By the keys menu, press the plus button and select add an air gapped key. Click continue, name your key, and for the cold card queue you're going to scan the QR. Once signed into your cold card queue, you're going to go down to advanced tools and hit export wallet. Now you can select nunchuck, press enter, and once it generates, you can press the QR button on your cold card and you can scan that QR code into your phone. Great! Now that you've imported the XPUB, it will ask you what derivation path you want to use. I'm selecting m84 as native segwit, and now we can click add key. Now the key has been added successfully, and you would just repeat that process for your other cold card. Now that we have the keys for the two cold cards, it's time to set up the tap signer. This tap signer has already been initialized. We're now just adding the key, or XPUB, back into Nunchuck. Press the plus button again, and select add NFC this time, then select tap signer. Hit continue, and you'll be asked to scan your tap signer. Now it's time to name the third key. Once you're done naming your tap signer, select continue and you'll be prompted to input your pin. This is so Nunchuck can import that XPUB and add it as a key. You'll now be prompted to hold your tap signer close to your phone. Great, the key is added, and now we've successfully imported all three keys into Nunchuck. Now that we have all three keys, we can create the multi-sig wallet. Now we're going to press the plus button by the wallets menu instead of the keys menu. Click create new wallet, then select create a new wallet. You'll be asked to input a name for the wallet, then you can continue. Now you'll be asked what keys you'll want to include in this wallet. We're going to select all three, and at the bottom we're going to select two, so that it's a two of three multi-sig. Now we're going to press continue, we can see the wallet configuration, and we're going to click create a wallet. It's important to have a backup of your multi-sig configuration, in case you lose one of your keys. Now is the time to save that file for safekeeping. At this point, your cold cards don't know about this multi-sig wallet. So you can choose to import the multi-sig configuration onto your cold card queues at this time. For now, we're going to select I'll do this later. You can now review the multi-sig wallet you just created and hit done. Now we're going to go into that multi-sig wallet and retrieve an address to send to. Now that we have some funds on our multi-sig wallet, let's send some money. First we'll make our cold cards aware of the multi-sig wallet by clicking view wallet configuration and selecting the three dots icon in the top right hand corner. Click Export Wallet Configuration, select Cold Card, then select Export by BBQR. With your first cold card, you'll click the QR button and scan that BBQR. You can click Done Scanning on your phone, and the multisig will show up on your queue. Now hit Enter to save. Now your cold card can sign transactions from that multisig wallet. You just gotta repeat that process for the second cold card. Now let's send some money out from this multi-sig wallet. Go back into the multi-sig wallet and select Send. Enter the amount of Bitcoin you want to send and select Continue. Now enter in the address that you want to send to, as well as any additional notes that you want to add, and click Create Transaction. You will now need to sign from two out of the three keys to successfully broadcast a transaction. In this case, we're going to be signing from our queue and tap signer. For our queue, click Sign, Export Transaction, Export via BBQR. Press the QR button on your cold card queue to scan. You may need to pull the cold card queue away from the screen to make it easier to scan. Now verify the info on the screen, make sure everything looks good. Press Enter to sign. Now a QR code will show up on the cold card queue. Click Import Signature on your phone and scan the QR code. Great. Now we have one signature for the transaction, and now we're going to use our tap signer for the second signature. 
All you have to do for this signature is enter in your PIN, tap the card, and it will sign. Now we're done. The two signatures have been imported and we're ready to broadcast. To conclude, you've successfully set up a multi-sig wallet on Nunchuck, as well as sent and received funds. Congratulations! For more information or to make a purchase, go to coinkite.com.